Hello everyone, this is Imran Nemo and in this video, I am going to work with WooCommerce POS plugin. It's by Killbot. Okay. And in this video, I will just install this WooCommerce POS plugin and just integrate it. I will talk about the settings, etc. So let's get to be started. First of all, I am going to get the name of the plugin. I am here in the backend of my site. So to install a new plugin, what I will do just I am here in the plugin menu and I am going to hit this add new menu. Here it is. Here is the plugin search box and I am going to paste the name. Okay, here it is. I will have to install this plugin. I am just going to hit this install now button and now it's time to active this plugin. Okay, it's great. The plugin has been installed and activated. Let's see the setting options of this plugin. As here is the setting links, I'm going to hit the setting links. Alternatively, you could come here through this POS menu and in this through this settings link. Okay, whatever. And this is the setting interface for WooCommerce POS plugin. And as you can see, first tab is for general setting and you will just enable the POS okay and allow decimal quantity it will allow the decimals for the product price and you can enable it or disable it okay and use cashier account if you want or you can use as guest or type any customer name okay so and some discount quick key you can customize this quick keys just if you want to provide 5%, 10% or 20% or 25% discount. If you want to provide 40% discount, just remove this tab and type here 40%. So it's time to save it. Just hit this save changes button. Okay, changes have been saved. Good. Let's see the checkout tab. From here, you can just set the complete order status. You can make it just complete. Okay. And order email. You can enable admin email of your site or you can enable any custom email. I think it's the admin email should not be allowed. Just you can allow any custom email. Okay. And receipt printing. Do you want the receipt will be printed automatically? after the checkout is done okay if you want the if this process is handy for your store then you can just check this one okay and if you feel it is not just handy then you can uncheck this option okay let's see the payment gateways it depends on the your necessity and facilities you get from any payment gateways okay by default it is cash and I'm just going to make it PayPal okay and it also has some setting options okay I'm going to hit this save changes button let's see the hotkeys there are the several hotkeys that you can use this key will be used for help screen and barcode search search and synchronize with server etc okay if you want to customize these keys you can do and just make sure you hit this save changes button let's see another tab it is pause access you may have many members in your system to manage the pause but you can't allow the all members this all actions of the WooCommerce POS system just make sure you allow the roles properly and if needed okay let's see the shop manager the shop manager will also get all these activities if you want the shop manager own get list of users thus you can uncheck it okay just save changes good tools there are available tools these are not any uh, difficult things just easy and system status everything is here okay the PHP version server and the rest api is active okay it was all about the backend of woocommerce pos let's see the interface of 
the PUS. Okay. To get the interface, just you will have to add slash POS of your existing site, or you can access through here. Just view post. Great. You can see all the products we added in the system. These are the all default products. All products, special products. No official product was found because it's a brand new site and it is not actually a professional site. I built this site for tutorial purpose and on sale products. Okay, just uh, let me add some official product. I'm just going to add some official products and I'll get back. Well, now you can see a featured product is added. Okay, now it's time to add some products in the cart. On the right this is the card and uh, here you will see the products under this categories okay and how to add products is super easy just hit this plus sign and here this product will be added if you would like to uh, add this product also just hit this button okay just uh, you will hit this plus button to add products here i'm just going to hit this on happy ninja okay it has been added automatically here and i'm going to take something else from here who album okay product are added and this one who logo great now uh, let's have some time here all the products are default with one quantity if the customer want two of this product you can just come here and update the quantity and instantly it will update the price also just for here happy ninja it's 18 dollar and if i increase the quantity to three return three and you can see the product total price has been updated okay so it was the quantity and whatever if you can also customize the product name just I'm going to double click here and change the product name okay and just hit here to change the regular price and tax options you can add some meta also to this product just click here add meta add meta or if you don't want to add meta just delete this okay or if you want to provide any special discount then you can do from here for this product okay just i'm going to click here and it shows a calculator type interface you can provide 10 percent discount 20 percent discount this for discount template uh, i set uh, in the back end so they are pops up here so i'm going to provide 10% discount just going to hit this one and the price has been updated if i provide 10% discount the price will be 16 dollar if i provide 20 percent discount the price will be 14 the regular price will be 18 and the price will be 14 after the discount if you are sure about to keep this offer or discount just hit this return button okay now you can see the price has been changed and the old price is here and the latest price after the discount is here that's great now click here again to collapse this interface okay that was all about here and here you will get the subtotal discount for here and here discount okay sometimes your customer can change their mind uh, just not to take any product just if they don't want to take this product you can just click here this red interface okay the price has been updated also if they want to take another product from here just uh, from this feature product this one who single you can just also click here and it will be added automatically it's super easy no difficulties here okay according to your customers need okay then uh, it's time to look around here you can 
okay you can type any customer name here or you can sell it as guest or if you would like to cancel all the process just hit this button it will collapse everything of this interface i'm not going to do that and if you want to add some extra fee here the price is here 55.20 dollar at the moment but i am going to add some extra fee just i'm going to hit this fee button okay extra fee and i'm going to charge extra fee for 10 10 dollar okay and i'm going to hit this return to make it fixed okay and you can also charge the shipping cost i'm just going to hit here if you just want shipping charge then you can just increase the price 50 it would 20 okay and you can just keep some notes of this cell just hit here and keep note and now it's time to process the payment so you are going to hit this checkout button there are several options you can use cash or card you can set the value here and process the payment or if you want to return to the cell just hit this button and it will take you back to the previous interface okay i'm going to process the checkout again and process the payment i'm just going to hit this process payment okay great the payment has been processed now you can just print this receipt or this invoice i'm just going to hit this print button nice you will get this print interface and connect your printer to print out this okay if you don't want or change your mind just cancel here and it will get back to you or you can just email this receipt to your customer just hit this email button and enter the email address and hit this send okay just if this is the one then you can be ready for this new order and hit this new order okay the card is empty now you can again process any sale or add product to the card that's great and hope it was easy enough for you to continue with me now it's time to check the menus you will see the products it will redirect you to the products as i'm going to open in a new tab it has moved me to the products and orders it will move me to the orders section here it is on order by guest and the customers it will redirect me to the user section and the coupons you can add coupon and get here okay now uh, it was all about working with woocommerce pos plugin and this plugin also has a premium version if you want you can upgrade but i'm not going to induce or get any benefit from that so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching if this is the first time to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i will bring you back some more trainings on wordpress woocommerce